Well, if you have visited Central Avenue and it's a great place to check out, maybe you have noticed, well, this wall. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to, right? And Good there's stuff. a story behind it. Right, you can't miss it, right? Plenty of love went into the idea that we're talking about. That's why people take pride in it. To them, it felt like the world had built a wall of judgment, separating them from themselves. You know, you're trying to, like, pray the gay away. Back then, I, I really did feel that there was something wrong with me. Jay Hoff spent decades hiding, but that was then. It's fun to be expressive and out and loud. <laughs> he wants everyone to be comfortable and happy. Art is just expression. He and Chad Mize partnered with about a dozen LGBTQ youth nearly two years ago and designed this Central Avenue mural. It looks perfect. It's held up beautifully. The guys recruited a mosaic of diversity from Metro Inclusive Health and painted inclusion onto this Lego-themed wall. It was a group of people coming together. <laughs> I get emotional when I think about it. Both men saw themselves in the kids. They were young and they felt like they were part of something important, that they were doing something for their community, that they had acceptance. I mean, that's what St. Pete does though. They allow everybody to express who they are. Jay has about 250,000 Legos at home. That's why Chad asked him to help with this. They want people to see St. Pete as an open air museum. I hope when they see it that they smile, that they're inspired. Be you, be yourself. You're safe, you're okay. Proven by fashioning barriers as opportunities that connects everyone. Ha <laughs>